Hey, welcome back to the big board. Let's have a look at MBT and in particular the FIG module. And it's a custom scenario that uh, Brad Smith wrote to kind of go with the book that he wrote, which I thought was rather cool. So we've given it a shot. I've got this leopard over here and you can see that his range using uh, kinetic energy, uh, <coughs> excuse me, armor piercing rounds, uh, 0 to 6 is point blank range, 6 to 12 is short range. So he's in short range, and he's aiming at this particular unit, uh, conducting an overwatch uh, order. And there's some penalties for being an overwatch, but they're basically compensated for by the NATO bonus. So he needs to roll a something something less than something he needs to roll a short range 63 or less and he rolled a 56 here you can see that there we'll zoom in a little bit you know the guys over there on the left and you can see here that this chappy is up on a hill so it's a rising shot so we're going to be looking at the rising armor value, KE. Sorry about the focus, maybe it's just my bad eyes now. Uh, rising uh, shot, and we go across here and we would see what the armor would be. Now, the armor, where it hits, is gonna matter on this one, because if I hit target front, it's 60, 60, sorry, 69. Uh, hull front, 68. Time of front, 81. So differences, yeah? So we hit, so we can put that to one side. We know that we hit. <clears throat> and we roll the two for location, and the two is tower front. If we look at that little armor uh, piercing hit locations marker, I believe that's what it is. Uh, coming in from the front, yeah, that's correct. Front side, actually, it says. Oh, okay. Well, it's even worse then. <laughs> Because uh, it's 81 front side, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's not directly on the front. Well, it is directly on the front, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, so it's tower front. Either way, 69, 81, well, it's going to work out the same. <clears throat> I rolled a four for damage. We'll put that aside for a second. And then uh, because we're, uh, we're looking at how much, how close these, some of these numbers are, see, Here's my armor penetration rate at 56 uh, at short range. If I'm shoot, if I'm hitting this dude at the right on the right part, the right part, I'm clearly going to get a penetration. 56 is greater than 40, greater than 17, but it's not greater than 81, and certainly not greater than 69. So if you want to do the the, the two extra dice, which I just roll a handful of. It allows you to uh, plus or minus up uh, some incremental damage or reduction in your damage uh, penetration rate. Uh, so this netted out to be a plus one, so it's not gonna make a difference. So we look and we see, well, uh, 69 versus, 56, versus 56, it's not gonna penetrate. In fact, it has no chance of ever penetrating at short range. The only way we have a chance of penetrating if we hit a T55 on the on the nose or on the front front side, 60 it would be a point blank range. I could maybe get to 69 if I got very lucky on a rising shot. Now, sure, on a on a level shot we got him, and on a falling shot we absolutely got him. We can we can really do some damage. So where you are is really going to matter in this particular scenario. And where we are, the Germans, is down low in the wrong position. <laughs> so I went through that same exercise and looked at the numbers again to see if I used a uh, heat round and uh, factored in the uh, the the, 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 uh, the chemical energy uh, 
the blocks, you know, whatever they call it, the extra armor they have on their on their little tankies, and uh, and factored all that in, and there's no way you can make you on a rising shot you can get them uh, in that in that regard either. Um, so that was disappointing. So very tough situation. Now that said, the Germans are doing okay. Uh, they they popped a Milan off here, knocked off one guy. We've damaged one guy here, and we've forced the uh, Soviet plan to uh, come to a screeching halt in the very first turn. Their, their plan uh, was one of three plans that we put together, and we were going to the one that we ended up choosing via die roll was to run this road down through the village and try and make the exit off the left-hand side of the map, I believe. Actually, it may have been going straight up the guts, and we were going to come come down the road to here and then uh, head across the, the hill over there and then off the map. I think that was the plan. I would have to look it up again. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've played. So we're, we're in it, and uh, the Germans are actually not in a great position because of their location. Location, location, location. All right, just thought I'd share a little snippet with you. Uh, this is obviously a lot of fun, but uh, very nuanced when it comes to choosing where you need to be in order to, uh, I guess, uh, be effective with your weaponry and where you can catch the, the, the bad guy that you're trying to shoot at uh, on the hop. And I, I should have waited until he, he moved another hex and and shot at him down here on the on the level or perhaps even uh, uh, one hex further on if indeed they were going to move that far all right talk to you soon